Welcome back everybody, Drone Tech here. Please uh, hit that like button, share, and subscribe if you could. So I'm sure that we all saw this video today from AOC. I'm not gonna uh, attack her uh, for making those claims. I mean, she's never made them before, but obviously uh, criticizing that sort of a thing is dangerous. And that's kind of what I wanna talk about is the Democrats and this propensity that they have for Shield, and this is something they've that I've noticed them doing. You know, going back to when I first got into politics, but they always shield themselves with some with their identity or with how they identify, and they shield themselves against criticism or any sort of scrutiny. And that's why you know you look in the media, and do you ever see any criticism or scrutiny of anything that they say or do, or any of their policies? Do you see anything like that? It's almost certainly from the left. It's that they're not left wing enough. Not only is this, I think, this is about AOC shielding herself from criticism. She just, you know, these people like AOC, they are either. <clears throat> They're either talking about how strong they are, you know, how, how as a person they're so strong and they can rise above everything. But then in the next sentence, they're a victim and they're uh, powerless against these monstrous forces. And then, and yet the next sentence, they're spewing hatred about people that they disagree with. They're fellow Americans. AOC uh, was just out there the other day saying that certain Republicans should be put on an enemies list. I mean, how does there in no way does that unite the country that sets this country on a path for conflict. It also incites violence, just like AOC incited violence by supporting it, uh, cheering it on when BLM and Antifa and Democrats were out there burning down businesses. You know, she talks about how much fear that she felt uh, in her office. What about all the fear that these store owners, these business, small businesses felt uh, just trying to defend their business and people are throwing rocks through their windows, burning it down, threatening them. Uh, you know, some of these groups went into residential neighborhoods and threatened these people's homes and threatened them based on their skin color of all things. You remember that on CNN, Chris Cuomo said, uh, and you know, this isn't AOC's fault, but Chris Cuomo is a uh, parent of AOC and he's parroted her BS on more than one occasion when she started talking about uh, how ICE detention facilities were concentration camps. What happened? Well, uh, you had members of Antifa or Antifa related groups actually launching several attacks on several different ICE facilities. Did she ever pay a price for that? Was she ever uh, brought up and censured? Uh, no, no, they weren't. And you also remember that there was a time when um, a guy showed up and tried to assassinate half the GOP Senate. Uh, he only succeeded in shooting one of the Republicans, Steve Scalise, but there were many Republicans there that he could have taken out. That guy was acting on, in part, rhetoric that he was hearing coming from the Democrats about how health care that Republicans wanted you to die. Republicans want you to die. Uh, AOC has used similar language in the past, uh, saying that Republicans are sending people to die by opening up uh, businesses. And this all really ties into what happened at the Capitol. It seems like they're just really, they're really trying to get as much as they can, as, as much benefit out of that as they can never let a good crisis go to waste and I'm not, not saying that I support you know I, I'm on video multiple times saying that I did not support what happened there but let's be real I mean it was several thousand people uh, most of which were peaceful you know they didn't do anything they didn't even they didn't even enter the Capitol but then there was a few hundred people or more that went in and they walked around and they came out and then there was a smaller amount of those people that were actually violent but for some reason they're not held to the same standard and it, in the same uh, vein that there was an unarmed woman who was shot and killed by police in any other case uh, you know the media would would out, be outraged about that but in this case they actually cheered it on and you know it's hard to keep up with these standards that are constantly shifting and warping and uh, always in service of the Democrats and protecting them they have to blow that event out of proportion as much as possible to enact as, as much as they possibly can while they have the power to do so and the scary thing is is, is that they're using this to incite anger, hatred, and even violence towards their political opposition. I did a video the other day of a guy saying that if uh, a, a, a terrorist in the Middle East had said the things that Trump had said, well, we'd be setting a drone strike over. Anyway, that's all I have for this one. It's freezing out here right now. Uh, make sure to check out all my alternate platform links that you can find in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you all next video.